Welcome to CCK On Air Veterans Legal Lowdown. Today, the Department of Veterans Affairs made an important announcement about new rules that should ease benefit claims for veterans exposed to Agent Orange outside of Vietnam. We'll discuss the changes and what they mean. So first, what happened? The Department of Veterans Affairs announced today that veterans exposed to Agent Orange while serving in the United States and some new locations abroad will soon be eligible for presumptive benefit status. Specifically, the new rule would give presumptive benefit status to veterans who served in locations where herbicides were tested, used, or stored outside of Vietnam. So here's some information that you'll want to know regarding the timing and the details of these new rules. VA filed the rules on Friday, so it will take several months for them to fully go into effect. The new rules expand presumption of exposure to military locations in 12 states, as well as some locations in Canada, India, and the Pacific. U.S. state locations include Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Maryland, Mississippi, Montana, New York, Tennessee, Texas, and Utah. The time period for the storage and use of Agent Orange in these locations range from the 1940s to the 1970s, and a full list of the specific states and times is available on the VA website that we'll have linked below. Internationally, locations in Canada have also been identified. The timelines of presumptive exposure will be increased for veterans who served in Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Korea, and more during the 1960s and 1970s. In addition, VA is proposing to add a new paragraph to the Regulation 38 CFR 3.307 A611. This would presume exposure to certain herbicide agents for veterans who served in certain locations that were not previously listed. Specifically, the proposed language outlines that if a veteran, that if a previously unqualified veteran served in a location recognized by the Department of Defense as a site for herbicide agent testing, use, or storage, they will be automatically presumed to have been exposed to such herbicides during their service, unless there is something proving that the veteran was not exposed. The Department of Defense has compiled a list detailing specific locations and periods when herbicides were tested, used, or stored outside of Vietnam. This list serves as the definitive guide for determining herbicide exposure for veterans who served in these areas. Until recently, veterans who were exposed in other locations had to document specific instances of herbicide exposure. Thanks to the PACT Act of 2022, presumptive locations were greatly expanded but these new rules expand the presumption of exposure even further. For more information on Agent Orange and presumptive benefits, you can check out our website. If you need assistance with your VA appeal or are looking to appeal a board decision at court, the team at CCK may be able to help. Contact us today for a complimentary consultation. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out our videos and subscribe to our channel.